Are you serious? Are you serious? John! John! Secretary of State John F. Kerry smacks Russia. And I mean, wow, this situation with the uh, Malaysian Flight 17 shot down over the eastern portion of Ukraine. It's getting really ugly now as the United States of America is putting all the blame on the Russians. Well, here's what the report is. Uh, right now, coming out of Reuters, United States is pressing a case against Russia on the down jet as the horror deepens. Uh, John Kerry makes most explicit U.S. case against Russia over the Malaysian jet downing. Rebels are moving the uh, air, the, the uh, Flight 17 uh, airplane crash bodies as U.S. accuses. Russia. Anger is growing toward Russia over this uh, Flight 17 crash. Uh, Ukraine. Here's the report. U.S. Secretary of State John F. Kerry laid out what he's calling an overwhelming evidence of Russian complicity in the shooting down of the Malaysian airline flight MH17. As international horror deepened over the fate of the victim's remains. This is unbelievable. How come these guys, these pro-Russian separatists, why are they being so disrespectful to the remains of innocent civilians? Um, Kerry demanded that Moscow take responsibility for the actions of the pro-Russian rebels in eastern Ukraine, whom Washington suspects of downing the jet with a missile and expressed disgust at the grotesque mishandling of the bodies. Now, television images of the rebel-held crash site where the remains of victims had lain decomposing in the fields among their personal belongings have turned initial shock and sorrow after Thursday's disaster into anger now. People are angry. The, 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 citizens, the, the families of these victims are furious with the Russian rebels in the Ukraine. Emotions are running high in the Netherlands, in the home country of about two-thirds of this 298 people who died on the Boeing 777. The Dutch foreign minister has said the nation is furious to, to hear the bodies were being dragged around, while relatives and church leaders demanded that they be rapidly returned home. However, the departure of dozens of corpses loaded into refrigerated railway wagons was delayed on Sunday as Ukrainian officials and rebels traded blame over why the train had not yet left the war zone. Where or when was the international investigators? Wouldn't they be able to check it? In Washington, Kerry criticized Russian President Vladimir Putin, threatened additional steps against Moscow. Drunken separatists have been piling bodies into trucks and removing them from the site, he said on NBC television on Sunday. What's happening is really grotesque. It is contrary to everything President Putin and Russia say that they would do. Moscow denies any involvement in the disaster and has blamed the Ukrainian military. While stopping short of direct blame of Moscow, Kerry put forward the most detailed U.S. accusations so far that Russia provided the insurgents with the sophisticated anti-aircraft systems used to down the aircraft. British Foreign Secretary Philip Hammond echoed the criticism, urging Moscow to ensure international investigators had access to the crash site. Russia risked becoming a parish state it is, if it does not behave properly, he told Sky Television. After lying for two days in the summer heat, the bodies have been removed from much of the crash site 
by Sunday, leaving only blood-stained military stretchers along the sides of the road. Emergency workers who have to navigate reporting both to the authorities in Kiev and the rebels who control the crash site and other areas in the region will now need to pick through the debris spread across the Ukrainian uh, 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 countryside. As Ukrainian, uh, as the Ukraine accuses the rebels of hiding the evidence relating to the loss of the airliner, a separatist leader said items thought to be the stricken jet's black boxes were now in rebel hands. John Kerry said the United States has, been, has seen supplies moving into Ukraine from Russia in the last month including 150 vehicle convoy of armored personnel carriers, tanks, rocket launchers given to the separatists. It had also intercepted conversations about the transfer to separatists of the Russian radar-guided SA-11 missile system, which it blames for the Boeing 777's destruction. It's pretty clear that this is a system that was transferred from Russia, Kerry said in an interview on CNN. There's enormous amount of evidence, even more evidence that I just documented, that points to the involvement of Russia in providing these systems, training the people on them, he said on CBS. The disaster has sharply deepened the Ukrainian crisis in which the separatists in the Russian-speaking East have been fighting government forces since the protesters in Kiev forced out the pro-Moscow president and Russia annexed Crimea in March. Crimea, excuse me, in March. The United States has already imposed sanctions on individuals and businesses close to Putin, but Kerry indicated that President Obama might go Further. Here's the problem, though, John Kerry. Here is the problem, America. Here is the problem. We don't have clean hands. I'm speaking on behalf of the nation of the United States of America. We don't have clean hands. We left all kinds of armored vehicles, rocket launchers, AK-47s, hand grenades, supplies, equipment. We left it in Iraq. We walked off and left it, and ISIS come right in behind it, picked it up, and is butchering and murdering and destroying civilians across Iraq and Syria with U.S. weaponry. So we have no clean hands. Can I tell you where the, in Russia, you have no clean hands. Hamas, you have no clean hands as you fire rockets right after civilian and constantly. Can I tell you where the only set of clean hands are? They were nailed to a cross. That's the only set of clean hands there is. They're the hands of Jesus Christ. Only He is worthy to bring forgiveness, mercy, and grace to a fallen humanity. But he will also bring judgment on those who are guilty of the atrocities. Don't miss tonight's live broadcast. Pray that my voice holds out. Three-hour show, Lord willing, three-hour broadcast. Tonight, from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern, right here at our studios in Indiana. Don't miss it. Tonight, at my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Watch it live at my website with a chat room right next to the screen. And uh, something biblical's going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Don't miss tonight.